it's got a really interesting little video for you today. So if you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll know that uh, this is my newest guitar. I mentioned in a, the previous video that I wanted to do a couple of small upgrades to it. And the first of which is happening today. In the time that I've uh, not owned the Strat, I forgot completely that I can't stand, well, I kind of like the vintage bridge, but I don't like uh, the screws that stick up um, out of the saddles. I don't know if how clearly you can see that. You know, these, these little screws do stick up quite a bit, these grub screws. Yeah, you can get replacement screws, grub screws for the bridge, which have various different lengths, but, but it's probably unlikely that you're gonna get screws that are exactly the right length for your chosen saddle height or your action. There's, they're either going to be not quite long enough or a fraction too long. And I really did want something flush because um, I, I palm the bridge quite a lot. So yeah, I, my technique means I need to be able to glide over the bridge while I'm playing. My options were try to find shorter or different length rub screws. Companies like Callahan make those. However, this is a Mexican strat, so the string spacing is slightly narrower and also the pattern of the screws the actual grub screws themselves is metric, I think, so American replacement stuff doesn't fit on it. So straight away we're talking about replacing the saddles. Callahan make vintage saddles specifically for Mexican and import Fender guitars, which will fit the narrower string spacing, they're a slightly narrower saddle. Um, and that then converts all of the screws to US spec which means then you can get the, the different screw lengths. However, uh, still not the perfect solution for me. Actually, my favorite Fender bridge of all time is what they used to use on American standards, and I think they currently use on the Elites, which are those block steel variety. So, I bought some that are similar to those. These are Graftec string savers. So they are um, like a steel block. Is that gonna focus? A steel block, they've got a small carbon insert to make where the string passes, where the string break angle happens, a bit more slippery. I should mention, who did I buy this from? What's the guy's name? Oh right, yeah. These are called string savers and, and the, the guy I bought, it, bought them from, I think it's Paul Comerford. He must own a UK company called String Slingers. And um, I bought a couple of things off these guys. Number one, they're cheap. Number two, they don't charge any postage and I only bought this, the saddles, the day before yesterday, quite late in the afternoon and they're here the first thing this morning, so it's like less than two days. So um, I'm really impressed with this company, String Slingers in the UK, really good. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these things off and I'm going to put these things on. And what I thought we'd do, um, this is probably really pointless, but we are going from a like bent vintage style saddle here, albeit it's not like Fender perfect, you know, vintage spec. But we're going to go to these block saddles, and I thought, why not do a little tone test? So I'm going to do really, really, really simple. No effects, nothing, no pedals, nothing. The amp, the amp settings will stay exactly the same, just an absolutely squeaky, clean sound. Just before and after, I'm just going to play some chords and a couple of single note things, and then we'll try and listen for the attack and see if there's any sustain change or anything like that. And I'll put those, once I've fitted these on, I'll put those right next to each other at the end of the, this video, so you'll be able to hear, you know, A and B, you know, before and after immediately right next to each other. So, yeah, let's get on and do some, um, some saddle changing then. Yeah, so interestingly, these come with short screws that are currently already in the saddle. And then they've got a longer screw, yeah, a slightly longer screw which, which comes with, with, the part, with the package for each saddle. So there's six of these longer screws, but I don't know if you can see that, but the screw, the longer screw is I think for a telly. So my camera is not very good at close-ups, is it? Um, yeah, so obviously I don't need these long screws. I'm just gonna stick with the short ones. Oh, come on. Why do they do that? I don't, I still don't understand why. Well, it's probably because I've got the trem flat against the body, but I'm gonna take the back plate off to get to the fucking, oh. Another small interesting point about these Mexican strats, 
You can see where some economies have been made. They no longer paint the inside of the cavity. Normally that would be painted. It would be quite a rough paint job, but they're obviously painting the guitars and then routing them afterwards, which, you know, doesn't bother me at all, but it is what it is. It's quite dark in here, isn't it? Okay, so that's one of them in. So it's going to affect the look of this guitar quite a lot. I suppose most people, you know, nobody in an audience is looking at what kind of sounds you've got, but, you know, guitar players are a bit weird like this. We sort of have this uh, thing about image and look, which is really important to us. I should say, these, so these, these cells were £64, so I'm not entirely... I think they're in America, because they are an American-made product. I think they're comparatively cheaper. I've seen them online for, for about like $75. Actually, I think Stumac have got them for like 50 something dollars, but it would cost me that to get them posted here. Yeah, but so 64 quid, I think, is pretty good. If you go for the ones, they do white ones, which are made out of tusk, and they do black ones, which are like the proprietary graph tech material. The graphite ones and the tusk ones are both about like 50 quid, I think, so they're, they're cheaper again. But I've got a thing about strats and the way they look, and I just couldn't have black saddles on a strat. It just doesn't look right to me. It's like one of my favourite single coils is the Seymour Duncan Quarter Pound. I've got a video on those in a telly on this channel, so feel free to check that out. And I love those single coils, but I just can't have like two white single coils and one black single coil on the bridge. It's just, just, I don't know. It's, it, a strap more than any other guitar, I think it's just got to look a certain way. And I just love straps that look really classic. So I've ended up having to pay a bit more for these because they're the steel ones, but I don't mind because it's the look is just really important. And you know, I've seen this on a few of the other, I mean I watch, what guitar channels do I watch? I watch Anderton's, um, I watch Pete Honore, I watch That Pedal Show, JHS, like Rob Chapman stuff as well. And this comes up time and again, how important is it like, that you like the look of a guitar? And actually, it's probably the single most important part of that instrument. If you're not into picking up a guitar and you don't really dig the way that it looks, I don't think you're gonna be in have any incentive to pick it up and play it and practice. Um, so if these things matter, they matter, you know? So, they're in, look at that. Let's have a look, what can you see? Can you see that? I think they look really cool. And I'm relieved that the um, spacing is right. That's what they look like on the guitar. The lighting is crap in here. It's gonna turn another light on. That's better. Yeah, that's cool. That looks really good. It looks like an American standard or something. And it's really, they feel really precise and nicely machined. Obviously the action is completely gone now, so I've got to reset the action. And the intonation will be out as well, obviously. So fortunately, those two things are not very hard to do. Okay, so we've now successfully changed the bridge saddles over and I've intonated them as best I can and the action, I've sorted the action out. The action actually is slightly better than it was before. So uh, it's a tiny, tiny bit lower on some strings that could affect the sound. I don't know. This installation has taken me, um, I don't know, about an hour, I think. They feel fantastic. So they feel just like American standards, even though on some of them, like the bottom E here, there's a, there's a little bit of post sticking up, um, but it still feels really nice. Let's do some tone tests.
My immediate feeling is there's something is different. Um, not in a bad way at all, or a good way, but there's a difference. Um, is it brighter? Does it sound brighter to you? I don't know. It sounds slightly brighter to me. Is that new strings? Mind you, the strings weren't very old. You know, they were only days old, the ones that were on there. Um, Playability-wise, hands down, amazing. Feels like a brilliant playing surface. Yeah, yeah, um, but I think there is a slight difference in tone. I'll have to look at, you know, when I do the editing and see um, see if there is anything. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, look, I hope this is a really um, informative video. Um, I'll put links to the guy whose eBay shop I, I've been buying things off, and he's really good. I think his name's Paul. And, um, yeah, any other links that I've mentioned or things during this video, I'll put a link to where, where you can get these saddles. Um, I think they're really good. I think the strap looks really nice with them on. They certainly play brilliantly. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Take me to the party. If you got what it takes,